Good morning friends, welcome to Parnika Tutorials YouTube channel. In the last video, I have discussed few cases how to convert a left recursion grammar to right recursion grammar. To make you understand the concept in a better way, I have taken four examples and I will solve the each example in detail. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First let me see the example one. Yes determines yes. Open braces, yes. Close braces or C. Now what are the non-terminals here? Yes is the non-terminal and terminal is the C. And the start symbol is also S. Am I right or wrong? Now first you need to check whether it is a left recursion grammar or not. The non-terminal S is immediately following in the right hand side also. So I can say that it is a recursion and also left recursion. So if it is a left recursion, if we want to convert into equivalent right recursion grammar, what we will get, we will check it. This is in the form of A, alpha, beta. Will you agree with me? This total one, I am considering it as an alpha, this as a beta. So how can I convert it? It will be S yes, determines beta A dash. So be here beta is C, A dash is S dash. Are you able to understand it or not? Then S dash determines alpha. What is the alpha here? Open braces, yes. Close braces, S dash alpha, S dash or epsilon. Is it clear? If you have a doubt, let me discuss it. A determines A alpha or beta can be converted into right recursion grammar as A determines beta A dash a dash determines alpha a dash or epsilon. So the same way S determines C S dash. S dash determines this entire one I have considered as a alpha then S dash or epsilon. Is it clear? Now we will solve this example. S determines S A S or beta. Now check it whether it is a left recursion grammar or not. First thing is it is a recursion because S yes is determining S. Yes. So it is left recursion and also right recursion. If you check it, S yes determines S, yes, A, S yes or beta. So the, here the S yes is falling in the left hand side, also in the right hand side. So this grammar I can say that it is both left recursion and right recursion. As there is a left recursion, we will convert into a right recursion. So what is this one? This is A. Will you agree with me? Obviously, then this will be A. This entire part I will consider as alpha. Then this one is a beta. Okay. Now, if I convert into equivalent right recursion grammar, I will get it as S determines small b S dash. S dash determines small a capital S. S dash or epsilon. Is it clear for you? It's the same way I have written. You can write this formula and you can represent what is A, what is alpha, what is beta. Then easily you can solve this question. Okay. S yes determines beta. That beta is small b. S yes dash. S yes dash determines the alpha. S yes dash or epsilon. Now we will see the example 3. First check it whether it is a left recursion grammar or not. A determining a small a. So there is a left recursion. Now if you check it, what is this form is that this is in the form of A determines A alpha or beta 1 or beta 2. Am I right? This is the beta 1. This is the beta 2. This is the A and this is the alpha. Will you agree with me now? So in the last video I have discussed how to convert this left recursion grammar to equivalent right recursion grammar. What I have discussed A determines beta 1 A dash or beta 2 A dash. A dash determines alpha A dash or epsilon. Will you agree with me or not? This is the what we have converted. Now using this procedure we will convert the given left recursion grammar to right recursion grammar. Shall I erase this one? Now we will convert it into A determines, okay. 
here beta is small b capital B okay a dash or beta 2 is small a a dash then a dash determines alpha is small a a dash or epsilon is it clear for you okay so I have converted into a determines beta 1 a dash or beta 2 a dash a dash determines alpha a dash or epsilon so this is the equivalent right recursion grammar for the given left recursion grammar now we will discuss the another example for better understanding a determines a b or a a a or c so here it is a left recursion grammar because a is determining immediately a so and here also it is there so this grammar is in the form of a determines a alpha 1 or a alpha 2 or beta will you agree with me or not this case also we have discussed in the last video how can i convert it a determines beta a dash a dash determines alpha 1 a dash or alpha 2 a dash or epsilon am i right or wrong it is very simple i have converted the a determines beta a dash or a dash determines alpha 1 a dash or alpha 2 a dash or epsilon so this is in the same form am i right or wrong this is my alpha 1 this is my alpha 2 and this is my beta will you agree with me or not my a is a my alpha 1 is small b small a alpha 2 is small a all beta is c now if i convert this one i hope you have noted down let me convert this grammar into equivalent right recursion grammar what i will get a determines beta which is c a dash a dash determines alpha 1 small b small a a dash or small a a dash or epsilon so we have converted the given left recursion grammar to equivalent right recursion grammar for each case so i hope you have understood the concept with these examples if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the next video i will discuss about indirect left recursion grammar here we are getting the grammar means the left recursion is we can find directly but sometimes we may not find the left recursion directly but we may find the left recursion indirectly in those cases how can we convert the equivalent left recursion grammar to right recursion grammar all these things i will discuss so i request you to watch the next video to learn about indirect left recursion grammar how to identify it and how to convert it if thank you for watching my video have a nice day